Hello friends and welcome to Figure Study, where we are taking a look at Cybertron Defense Red Alert. This is a figure that I've kind of been low-key looking for for a while and managed to get my hands on him finally at AwesomeCon in uh, Washington, D.C. Uh, last month, I think it was. Will actually be two months ago as of when this video gets posted, probably. Yeah, found him for really reasonable price. Uh, the only unfortunate thing is the battery compartment is corroded because the batteries were left in there. Uh, I cleaned it out, but I'm not going to bother putting any more batteries in there and testing it out because I don't care enough and I don't know anything about electronics, so even if I could somehow fix it, I wouldn't know how. So yeah, we're just going to look at them without any of the electronics in there, but the uh, cyber key stuff still works, which we will be seeing. What's interesting about Cybertron Defense Red Alert is I always kind of got a kick out of how strangely uh, interesting his transformation is, despite the fact that it's overly simplistic and overall he's a very simple figure. I don't know, there's just something kind of cool to me about the actual transformation itself. And I like his missile truck mode, it's kind of neat. I'm not entirely sure if there's a way for the big missile to fire. I don't think there is. I think it just, uh, like, you just manually disengage it because it doesn't seem like there's any kind of spring firing mechanism there. But it's, uh, you know, it's a thing. And just to show off the cyber key gimmick, there's the little thing back there. And... The gimmick still works, but the lights and sounds do not, because, again, batteries. But push it in all the way, and that opens. Yay! And then there's the button that you can press to fire the, uh... There you go. To fire the missile. Which is fine. I should take out the cyber key if I want to close this. Uh, it's... I don't know. I mean, I'm not against this. I think it's kind of cool how it opens up and could kind of work like some kind of... Godzilla movie maser weapon even if it is designed to actually like launch in multiple stages like come out and then pop open there we go even if it's designed to come out then pop open and then fire the last stage of the missile I don't really know but I think as a weapon this kind of is cool it's sort of like has this look of being a giant missile that can then kind of transform into some kind of laser beam, maybe, but might still be a missile. I don't know. I never watched Cybertron. As you might expect, I know very little to nothing about the subject material. I just think it looks cool. And the truck part itself also looks the part. It's uh, relatively clean, all things considered. Like, you don't really see any overt robot bits from the top, even if you move the missile out of the way. And from the bottom, not so much either. It's actually surprisingly effective in that regard. And I like that you can angle the missile, or laser, however you want to look at it. Uh, mine, I don't know if this is a common thing, but mine is slightly off-center. Like you can see, it's supposed to be like that, but it's kind of down and to the side a bit, which, eh, whatever. And yeah, it overall looks good. The shape of the vehicle is very, very armored vehicle, and also, like, I don't want to say amphibious, but this does look like the kind of thing that could roll through deep water, like, up to here, and just go through like it's nothing. There's the viewports on the front, picked out in copper, which is nice, but then, like, all the viewports along the side aren't painted at all, and there's this weird kind of proto-Transformers siege weathering going on around the tires, which I'm not huge into. It almost looks like someone did that after the fact, like like it wasn't part of the stock toy, but eh, it's okay. I do, though, wish that there was a bit more paint detailing around the uh, vehicle mode, because there's some nice bits here, like, you know, the details in the front there, and then some details along the top. What could be a light, could be a scope of some kind, some kind of gun, and like a textured-looking uh, little thing that it sits on. It's the Cybertron Defense logo i believe i think i don't know <laughs> i don't know i don't know enough about this stuff and there's lots of nice molding along the side it looks great it's just not picked out in any kind of color same thing with the back 
it seems like most of the paint apps for the vehicle mode all went into the missile. And it's a nice looking missile. Lots of nice texture in there as well. And I like that they kind of did this like copper on dark gray, dark gray on light gray thing. It looks good, but the vehicle itself could do with some more paint. And it's kind of like, <laughs> I don't want to get combative, but people like to complain about Hasbro not painting figures and talking about how great the old figures were. And I mean, look at this. Look at this. All the paint went into the freaking gimmick. He doesn't have his missile. Like, there's barely any paint on this thing. And if there is paint, it doesn't look like paint. So, yeah. It was never sunshine and rainbows going like... Yeah, there, there were always issues. There was always cost cutting. There was always budgets to consider. People need to calm down when they complain about modern Transformers toys. Anyway, I'm going to get off my old man's stoop now so we can do some size comparisons. Here he is with a deluxe. And yet again, I'm by pure coincidence using a figure from the same line, I believe. I would assume anything that involves cyber keys is from the same line. So yeah, there's... Red Alert with Downshift, and Red Alert's vehicle mode is huge compared to Downshift's, and I'm fine with that. And then to compare tank to tank, well, not technically a tank, but close enough, here is Red Alert with the duck tank. And that's about all I got to say about the vehicle mode. This guy's vehicle mode is very straightforward. You know, the detailing is nice, it just could do with some more paint on the actual vehicle itself. That's just how I'm feeling. I am sorry if that bothers anyone. I still think it looks cool. As I've said, I actually really like this vehicle mode. I really like the transformation. I just wish that there was more to it. I like it, and because I like it, that's why I want to see it improved. But anyway, let's get to that transformation. And here we have Cybertron Defense Red Alert in his robot mode, and he is a very, very weirdly proportioned bulky boy. And I think I'm actually going to remove the giant missile from his shoulder for now, just to clean things up a bit and make him a little bit less back heavy. So this way it'll be a little bit easier to frame him. But don't worry, I'll bring the missile back. So he's weird. There are a lot of different elements to him that I do think look cool, but taken as a whole, he's kind of weird. <laughs> he's got these enormous lower legs, skinny little thighs, an enormous torso with these big bulky shoulders and these kind of weedy arms. Articulation's extremely limited. He does pose, he does move, like he's got knees and stuff and can move his legs, but he, like, the knees are up so high, and the arms, like with Pegasion, actually, the arms don't move out, and that bugs me. Bugs me more than it should, probably, but it just, it just bugs me. Also, he has this tendency to lean back a little bit, and that's kind of irritating. Like, the ratchets just aren't digging in as much as they should be. All things considered, though, it's a fairly clean transformation. You've got the bulk of the vehicle as his legs and torso and everything else is kind of like folded around on the inside so that's kind of cool i also like how this arm mounted weapon can either can go on either arm and it makes up the center mass of the vehicle which allows for the gap between his legs some good thinking i just don't like that he likes to lean back like that it's irritating and to just get this out of the way i'm going to use the cyber key on his arm weapon, which will flip this flip. There we go. We'll flip that forward. And unfortunately, with the cyber key in place, you either have to move the arm up all the way to allow it to bend, or you have to remove the cyber key to allow it to bend. And that's that's a shame. You don't really have a place you can kind of, I guess, just leave the cyber key in his shins because there's so much space there. 
Uh, so my red alert did in fact come with his accessories and I pre-removed them because they're kind of a pain to get out. But there's the claw that plugs into the end of the gun. It's like a little grabby claw, which is fine for what it is. It's a little weird seeing that poking out of what looks like a gun, but sure. And then there is this thing. The hammer. With a little spring-loaded end there. And that's fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not really crazy on those accessories. I feel like this works better as a gun than as a claw or a hammer. I mean, it's fine that it's there. It's just, it just doesn't really do it for me. So I'm going to tuck these back into his shins and forget that they exist. And just like that, his accessories are stored. All right, so detailing-wise, there's a lot here that was visible in the vehicle mode, particularly from the front, though there is some nice molded detail on the insides of the legs that's revealed now. This bit on the side was actually facing inward in vehicle mode, so this is nice that they molded that. Uh, the thighs have some nice detailing to them. The waist has some nice detailing. There's some really nice... I love the sculpting and coloring that they did in the torso. That looks really good. I like the red circles down here, the big white block of a torso here with like the blue in the middle and the orange and silver coloring there. The uh, big copper pylons for shoulders are cool and they do rotate. They just don't go out. That just bugs me. With some nice molding there and these were kind of like, I don't know what these would have qualified as in vehicle mode, but they were visible from the top. And then the arms also have some nice detailing and wrist swivels which is cool but they don't move out it's cool it's just a bit awkward as for the face it's interesting um from what i am aware of red alert that is a very red alert face with like the bluish almost robocop looking helmet the red visor i like the gold that they did for the crest and the face or mouth it's a little weird that he's got these things attached to the side of his neck but it doesn't break things up too badly I think it's a cool looking head. I like how the visor is sort of like angular, where it doesn't come around in a curve. It actually comes in at a sharp angle and then goes completely flat in the front. It looks neat. He has a neat looking head. Even from the side, there's some nice, interesting angles going on there. It's just kind of nestled in a strangely awkward looking body. All right, let's move him back so we can do our size comparisons. And there you can see the, even for like one click up that missile is a bit unwieldy just a bit anyway here he is with the deluxe and he is significantly taller than a deluxe and also there's more mass to him it's more density primarily in the legs <laughs> but he's definitely a big boy and i feel like if we're just going by overall mass and volume or at least implied mass and volume his lower legs are probably equal to the duck tank. Now, before I close things off, I think I did kind of skirt through this a little quickly. So just to go over the colors again, I feel like here the colors work a little bit better because that dark blue breaks up the white a bit more, which is fine. And there's more painted detail that's revealed too. Like you see more of the copper for the shoulders, which were like kind of energy pylons that you could barely see because the missile was hovering over them in truck mode. There's all this chest detail that gets revealed, which is nice. And now you're seeing the truck bits from the top, which is where all the paint is, which is great. It just really could have used more in the vehicle mode. And I feel like even this could use a little more because the arms and thighs are extremely plain in terms of paint apps. And while I think the arm accessory is cool for what it is, I'm not a fan of adding on the accessories. I think they look kind of silly and it's not a particularly imposing looking weapon as a weapon. I feel like it's it's too big back here. It's almost like more of a shield than a weapon, which maybe that's the point, but it's a little bit strange and it would have been cool if he had something he could actually hold in his hand. Yes, I know he's got a giant missile attached to his shoulder, but it doesn't quite sit right with me. And that missile is kind of absurd. As I said at the beginning of the video, I do enjoy the transformation. I think the robot mode in key places looks very cool. I think the vehicle mode 
on its own looks cool if a little unpainted in places, but he's just kind of kind of weird in ways that I'm not sure entirely endear themselves to me. I can understand that it's limited by the time, but it just feels a little bit like they put way too much thought and effort into the giant missile that doesn't really do anything significant. Red Alert, I feel like he's almost there, but there are just a few things that are holding him back. But anyway, that's enough ranting, and I want to state again, its I don't dislike Red Alert. That's not it. I think he's very cool. It's just I wish he had done a bit more. Because there's so much potential there that he's almost reaching. But anyway, what do you all think of Cybertron Defense Red Alert? Am I just being overly nitpicky? Is this stuff that maybe bothered you about the toy when it first came out? Do you prefer regular Cybertron Red Alert over Cybertron Defense Red Alert? Whatever your thoughts, feel free to chime in down below. I always enjoy hearing from you all. And while you're at it, also feel free to like, subscribe, or if you're feeling generous, you could also buy me a coffee. Any of those things would make me a happy Rob. And remember, art is more than meets the eye.